What's up, guys? You've been hit with this shit, or let's say a ton load of shit. You have the crypto locker virus on your computer. Because, and how did you find out? Well, either your antivirus scanner told you that it has in, that it was on your computer and that it removed it. This it will be known as the Win32 ransom uh, virus, and they'll probably have removed it if it was your antivirus thing. But then still, it would have been too late. Your files are all encrypted, or you don't have an antivirus scanner, and all your files are encrypted, and it has asked you for ransom, which, and you don't want to pay. Well, today that's what I'm going to explain to you. This is what happened to me too recently on Windows 8, and man, it's a pain in the ass. You're basically screwed, all right? But here's what the best you can do, or the best I personally think you could do. What I did was, let's say I had my Windows Defender on, and which removed it for me, but let's say you just found all your files are encrypted suddenly. On Windows by default, you should have Windows Defender on Windows 8 and above. I think maybe on Windows 7 too, I'm not 100% sure, but for Windows 8, you have Windows Defender. Open it, activate it, and do a full scan. It will find the virus, and then you can click remove the malicious, um, where that is, or the, yeah, the malicious files that it has found. Remove those. That's step one. All right. Step two, install um, Shadow Explorer, links in the description by the way for all those downloads. Shadow Explorer will allow you to um, uh, recover some files because apparently Windows makes backups itself of your files every once and then, every few days. You can recover those. It, it deletes them automatically after a few days, but it keeps them too. So then what you can do is Shadow Explorer allows you to retrieve the copy of a file and you can select the date of the copy that it made a few days back. So that allows you to recover your files from four days ago, for example. But if you have the amount of days that it keeps those backup files and you have, it's been encrypted for that long, then you're too late. But if you found out like one day after, you can recover pretty much most of your files, which is good. But it does not recover, like for example, what I would do, Shadow Explorer, I select the folder and then select the date for which I want to recover it. And then, I had like these Java files, and then these Java files, basically what they did was it only recovered the first thousand lines, so that was pretty suckish, but it was good, alright? After the other thousand lines, there was still encrypted code, so I'm like, oh, damn it. But that's, Shadow Explorer is the farthest you can get on actually getting back those backups, unless you have made backups yourself. Keep in mind, though, that um, it selects all the folders on your um, computer, so I'm not sure about hardware, though, luckily. Fuck, I just got interrupted. Alright, let's keep going. But so yeah, I'm not sure if the crypto locker virus actually accesses your your um, connected devices because that did not happen to me. I had luckily um, not connected, my hard disk was not connected to my uh, computer, so I'm glad about to ask that. But yeah, I'm not sure who will access it. Just if you think you have the crypto locker virus, just take out your hard disk. Just do that, remove it. And then on another computer, if you have one or if you have a friend, just ask if they can check if the crypto locker virus has also gotten into your hard disk. If so, I'm sorry. That just sucks. A hard crypto locker also actually infects your videos and images, and those are most likely not recoverable because Windows cannot make a backup of everything. Sorry about that. Just make backups from now on on hard disks and just, you know, backups. That's all you need to do. Backups that are not accessible by other viruses. That's as far as you're going to get, but what I would recommend people seriously is that most viruses, because most people use Windows, are designed for Windows. So just use another operating system such as Linux. Still, Linux is not as safe as, not necessarily as safe, but it has less people designing viruses for it. Um, what I, and then if, they have two options after you've cleared it. You could either say, alright, just to be safe, and I want to have a restart, clean my computer out completely because you think it's full of viruses, just, um, Reinstall your Windows, find out what your license key is so you can do that, or just carry on, but then, because CryptoLocker is apparently spread through, like, you know, those advertisements on the side of web pages, so just make sure you don't click on those or anything. Be more safe, and I'm sorry if it hit you, but it happened to me, like, two days ago, and I, man, I stayed up all night trying to recover as many files as I could, and then afterward I backed them up on my hard drive, and then I, what I basically did was, I just killed my computer, started all over, wiped it, and you know, just went Linux, and I hope this uh, tutorial helped you guys, and yeah, 
Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.